Hi guys, welcome back to DAS. In this video, we're taking a look at the TBS Tracer Nano Receiver. This is the um, diversity one, so it's two antennas. We're going to be looking at the wiring, and I'm actually going to solder this into my quad. Stay right there. So here she is, guys. Here's the TBS Tracer Nano. It comes exactly like this in this nice little packaging. And let's get her open. Pour her onto the table. There's the antennas. Two, hopefully, yep, there's two. That's it, that is done. So the two, two antennas that you get there, if you can see them on there, I don't know. Two nice little micro antennas. There's the actual tracer receiver itself. Hopefully my camera focuses on that. About the same size as a Crossfire unit, to be honest with you. Or a Crossfire receiver, Crossfire Nano if you prefer as well. But yeah, so she's a nice little size. Two antennas, like I say, there's no particular order that these go on. One either side. Now with the Crossfire receiver, what I, what I used to do, or what I normally do, is I put the antenna like that, and then put some um, shrink wrap over it, and that keeps it nice and secure. But I think if I do that with two antennas, I think there's going to be an issue with trying to get these in the correct place in the quad. So I am going to try and just stick them straight like that. And then I'm going to put some shrink wrap on as well, just so I've got a bit more room to manoeuvre. But yeah, there she is. Very straightforward. And uh, let's look at this wiring right now. So let's take a quick look at this wiring. And it's pretty standard, as a, if you're used to Crossfire, then this is going to be sort of pretty much exactly the same. You've got the square shaped one here at the top, and that is your ground pad. Underneath that, we have the 5 volts. Below that one, we have the TX pad. And at the bottom, we have the RX pad. So that's TX and RX at the bottom, the channel 1 and channel 2. And just like Crossfire, you will be wiring the TX pad to RX, and the RX pad to TX. So exactly the same as Crossfire, really. If you used to Crossfire, you'll have no problems with these whatsoever. Just remember, it's always opposites. That's all you have to remember. Dead simple. TX to RX, RX to TX. And we are going to have a look how this is going to wire in right now. Oh, first thing, sorry, I should just open these. You get these as well. This is the nano cable set you get in the pack. Let's open this. Oh, and they've got some shrink wrap in there as well. So there. Cables they supply. Nice bit of shrink wrap. And your pins if you wanted to do that. I won't be using those. There you go. So let's look at actually soldering this in right now. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to wire this in very quickly. And just recap, we've got ground, you have your 5 volts, you have TX, and at the bottom RX. These are the cables that come with it. I'm basically just going to rest them in here and I'm going to solder these up quickly right now. There we go, that wired in quite nicely. So they are in place. Get the blue tack off. Ground, 5 volt, RX and TX, all in place. So what I'm going to do now, probably won't record this, I'm just going to tin the ends of these up here and then we're going to wire these into the flight controller. One thing I am going to quickly do is, I'm going to look at what I'm going to be doing, I'm using this quad here for my um, testing purposes. And what I'm gonna do is, the connections I need are right here. And I don't want this you know, this massive bit of cable. This is, you never really wanna do that. So I'm gonna sort of roughly get a place that I want this to go. I'm gonna actually probably feed it under the flight controller. Maybe sit it around there. There's gonna be twist a little bit. It's gonna be a bit of slack. So I think sort of that will be ample. 
ample because it needs to sit there and you've got to remember these antennas are connected on here somehow and I'm probably going to feed them under and through so I think that will be ample to play with. So do something like that, make sure you've got the right sort of length cable, you don't want it too long but you don't want it too short either. And there, that would be absolutely fine. So I'm going to quickly turn these up and I'll be back and we'll solder these into the connections. So I've, so I've turned all these wires here and they're ready to go and I've got my flight stack, my old quad that I'm going to get these in place in and the pads you need are right here. They're the same pads as you'd use for Crossfire. So at the top you've got ground, you've got the 5 volt is the next one and then you've got TX and RX. And these wires on your Nano, on your Tracer Nano, obviously ground and your power and the next one down are this is TX, this is RX, so it's the same order as your pads, so we just need to swap these two over at the end. So it's RX to TX and TX to RX, just like that. I'm going to get these in really quickly. So there we go, they're all in. You've got your ground, you've got your power, you've got your, that is RX, which goes to TX pad, and then you've got your RX pad there, and that is TX, so the yellow is TX. All in place, all I'm going to do is twist these cables around, we're going to get the antenna in place and we're going to see if we can get them in somewhere. So that's all twisted in place. I'm going to use a bit of heat shrink and we're going to put that over and then I'll get the antennas on and we'll get the antennas in place as well. Probably a little bit big. Get the two antennas on place, or in place, it doesn't really matter which side they go, exactly the same antennas, and they just clip on. And there's two. Pull the heat shrink back over. I'm going to use a lighter for this. Be very careful if you do. There we go heat shrink in place, antennas in place, all soldered in. So that is ready to go. I'm going to actually change my mind about, I was going to try and put this out the back, but it isn't going to really fit. And these are going to go on the front arms. Let's get the camera out of the way. We'll feed under. There we go guys, that is in place now. Here's the Tracer Nano unit, just right there if you can see him. And what I've done is, just for now, I've actually just used tape and I've attached the two antennas to the front two arms because I am going to be taking this off eventually and I'm going to be installing the 69 unit and seeing what that actually runs like in this quad as well. So there you go guys, I hope you found that of use. I'm going to be doing a full series of these videos for the Tracer and for the Mambo and how you actually bind it up and what the flights are like and everything like that, so do watch out for those videos. Do hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.